Hey guys, how you guys doing? Welcome back to the channel. So great to see you guys. I'm glad you took the time to check out this video and I'm humbled by it. Before we start today's video though, I would like to kindly ask you to please thumbs up this video, click the subscribe button, and hit that notification bell so that that way you can be reminded and notified of any new video that I make. Also, I'd like to welcome Tori Hegum, our newest channel member. That's right. We have Tori Hegum who's joined the channel and he's helping to support this channel. You guys can follow Tori, Zero Linux Official, and Mislav Kreleza by hitting the join button yourself. And it's greatly appreciated. Thank you so much. Now to the topic of today's video. Last week I started to do the week of Zero Linux, but I did the XFCE review and there were some things that needed to be fixed in XFCE. So in talking with Steve, the developer, or Dark Zero, Tech Zero, uh, we, he decided to, to, for me to pull it down and get the current new fixed ISO out and then redo the actual review. So we're doing the Zero XFCE round two review and restarting the week of zero because this week we're going to do zero xfce then we're going to do zero g and then we're going to end it with zero kde uh, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look at the web page real quick because there's a few things i want to go over real quick and then we'll actually dive into okay so here is this web page i will put a link in the description down below for you to be able to come right to this web page yourself i myself am just going to go over a few things on here one is just the updated packages that are the latest version which is going to be the calamaris the linux kernel at 6.3 mesa 23.03 exorg is going to be at 21.1 and the xfce window manager and xfce are at 4.18 now, the one thing that I want to do is cover this. This is really what you're looking at that's the most important part about the XFCE because it's your standard XFCE dis, you know, desktop environment just customized or themed heavily. Uh, with this being a so-called legacy desktop environment, as he calls it, uh, using mostly GTK2 and a few GTK3 and 4 apps spread throughout, he has opted not to use a specific theme. You might have heard him mention before in some other videos of the Kanagawa theme on the videos that he, that he did do that on, and I also did it in the last one. I decided to remove it as it is super old and inconsistent. So as a result, he used Adwita Dark because it just works. Also, he added sort of a global theme because he can't function without one. As for the panel, he stuck with the true XFCE panel. No third-party one like Polybar or anything like that. Uh, for the rest, like the dock, it is Plank. That's it. Besides custom wallpaper, Grub theme, in, which we'll take a look at. That was done by Teddy Bear. Uh, it's all XFCE. No more tweaks were applied to keep it as, li as light as possible since this was created for all of you out there with a potato laptop. So... That's the most important things to look at as far as, far as it's concerned. Take a look at it. And so this is the grub theme that uh, Teddy Bear worked on. He worked on it a lot. He does a lot of the artwork, but he also themed this. Uh, when you look at it, it's very nice. Uh, it's definitely different than most of your grub menus uh the font is actually different it's actually readable in in the size uh some grub themes are very small the text so it's very nice the coloring uh is definitely more than your standard grub coloring and theming so it adds a lot of eye candy to it so i mean it's well done teddy well done thank you so much it's uh, it's nice to see something different and so now we're going to go ahead and load right on into it. And so this is our greeter. We're going to type in our password to log in. And now we are logging in. The XFCE Zero Linux Edition. And it looks good. As usual, it comes up with its welcome tool in it. It's got your things. Now, what I will mention is that the developer will 
ask you to do an update first before you do anything. So what we're going to do is going to click update system right now. And it's going to use top grade to do it. We're going to hit four for everything. And it's doing its own thing. Uh, also, they are using the Edwida dark theme here in this XFCE uh, Zero Linux edition. So now I'm going to give it our password. And now it's doing its thing. So while it's doing that, I will pause the video. When it's done, we'll resume. Okay, now that did not take very long at all. It uh, took maybe about a minute and a half, two minutes, and then it was done. So now that top grade did its thing and it's closed, um, we're going to open up the hello thing. And I'm just going to go over, you know, a little bit of this, what's in here. So you got your post, inst post install system config here and install applications. So if you've never used any of these Calamari's tools, you know, or tools, this isn't Calamari's, this is a post install tool. Uh, and you want to install applications, you simply click on here and you get like click on like Android tools. You have Android, you got the SDK tools, etc, etc. I mean, and it's categorized. So if you got graphics creating got Flameshot, Inkscape. So all you do is like internet browsers. So you can do like uh, Vivaldi, click here, check that. And then you hit the selected right here and it will install that for you. So that is a way to use that tool. Now, of course, um, there's other stuff in here that you can at your leisure, uh, click on them, try them out, check out what happens with them and uh, experience it for yourself. So let's go ahead and close that out. Now, uh, it's got your standard uh, layout, which has got your bar at the, or panel at the top, and then it's got your dock at the bottom. Now, it, I like the wallpaper. It's got a very retro feel to me. It's I know I understand it's got kanji and everything over here, but it's got such a 70s vibe to it, which is pretty cool. I, I really dig that. I mean, you don't see these kind of wallpapers very often. It's cool. I like it. So either way. I, that's the one thing that stands out to me. Uh, the other thing is, is uh, on your menu here, your drop down menu here. Uh, I like the icon themes that they've got going on in here. And I also love the font that they've, that they've implored. It's very, very nice fonting. Uh, it's your standard uh, XFCE menu as far as like it's categorized with the different uh, software and applications in, in installed. Uh, under accessories, I guess you know the, the you know the the highlight one that we do here. That's like you've got your discs, your uh, GNOME discs here, which is good for uh, managing you know partitions and stuff like that. Also, they got Flat Seal installed, which is actually a um, uh, a permissions manager for any flat packs that you may have installed. It's very very nice. Uh, it's a it's a wonderful tool. If you haven't used it, then you do have flat packs on. Maybe you should install it. Otherwise, install some flat packs. Take it for a test drive. It's wonderful. And basically, you've got your light DM greeter uh, settings here, as well as gestures, and you can do your mouse pad and also plank uh, here, so you can help uh, set stuff up with plank. Uh, under development, um, basically, you've got CMake, Melton, the QT suite. Oh, sorry about that. The QT suite of apps uh, already installed. Uh, under graphics, uh, you got Rosetto Viewer, Flameshot, Ocular, Vinoir. Under internet, they've got Firefox as a default, uh, which is okay. Uh, for multimedia, you have Audacious, you've got Parole, uh, VLC Media Player, XF Burn. Uh, under Office, there is no Office suite installed, which helps maintain its lightness that he's trying to strive for. To make it nice and light uh, also there's so many different office suites out there that you can you should be able to choose whichever one you prefer under other you've got the HP uh, vice scan which is your, your scanner thing under settings is your standard settings he does have a render already installed out of the box uh, the add or remove software center which should open up PAMAC yep it does open up PAMAC uh, which is your front end for Pac-Man to be able to in, to install uh, packages through there. Also in the settings, uh, I believe it should have, um, oh, did I type in my password wrong? I did. Uh, check for updates, parallel downloads. You can change that to like 10, um, cache. Yep, under third party, you can enable the AUR support right here. Uh, and we'll leave the rest just the way it is. No worries about that. 
and then for flat pack you can enable flat pack right here and so that's done and check for updates or oh, we're going to do check for updates under the aur as well so there you go so that's a look at that and now you can actually update your system through there as well uh so there's that under settings um for you got your app uh app image launcher settings uh appearance this is where you can customize look and feel uh for uh display right here you can configure, configure your display settings and your layout uh Coventum's right here so you can uh, you know deal with your Coventum manager uh panel you can customize the panel right here uh pulse the um pavu is right here pulse uh, audio volume control settings right there qt5 settings and screen savers right here and of course your power session startup and stuff like that and several different other settings there and xfce terminal settings all the, the standard xfce settings are within there as far as system is concerned he's got htop installed if we open that up and we look you will see that we're well, let's go ahead and make this bigger and then we will increase the size so you can see it uh we're using very few processors and as far as ram is concerned it looks like we're probably gonna you know about maybe a one gig of ram out of the four that i've given this thing so i mean it looks pretty good it's pretty lightweight it's pretty snappy responsive no issues at all uh and let's see you got your sensor viewer here task manager thunar is the file manager that, that it's using which is the default one for xfce i believe uh you got the zero linux tool xfce terminal is a standard uh terminal uh for it as far uh, yep thunar is here it's the icons are awesome it usually has the uh like the Thor hammer, so the icons have been nicely done on the on the on the plank. Uh, I love the color uh, and the actual icons inside the chart, or I mean inside the the navigate the the file manager and the navigation pane. I love the font. It's been applied. It's throughout. It's very very nice. Uh, it, they've done well with the theming of this. It's, you know, it's it's very very nice. As far as the panel is concerned, up at the top here, that's that's the launcher. Now, as a panel at the top, you've got your four different workspaces in here that are virtual desktops right here that you can click through. Right now, we're on one. And then you've got your uh, locations here for like your desktop folder and desktop, or sorry, desktop settings. You click on that. This allows you to look at some cool wallpapers, adjust wallpapers, whatever it is that you want to do for if you want to, you know, change any settings that apply to your desktop environment. Uh, so it looks like he's got the standard, some of the standard XFCE desktop uh, wallpapers in here, as well as some of his uh, zero Linux ones that are in here. So there's a look at that and menus and icons right here is where you can uh, adjust those as well. And then under files, of course, it's going to take you to your, I think your recents and then documents. Uh, it's going to, you know, take you to your documents folder. Uh, your music, if there's any files in your music folder, it should pop up here, pictures as well, and videos. And then on the right side of the panel here is your uh, system tray and notification area along with your volume indicator. Uh, so, I mean, it's just your standard, uh, and if you want your power session buttons right here, if you want to log out, you hit that. This is your notification button, or I mean your session menu, so you can like log out, restart, shut down, suspend, hibernate, etc., etc., um, there's that now looking at plank they have firefox uh already on plank which is nice and let's open it up and take a look at it, it should be a current version of firefox and we're going to help and we're going to go to about and we're looking at 113 is very up to date so all of his packages are up to date and synced with being current as of date of course we've already looked at thunar the xfc ter xfce terminal when you open it up it's got the nice transparency which is beautiful which is kind of that's the thing about zero linux it's all the attention to detail has been paid to every aspect of it where it can be uh so it looks very very sweet i love the transparency i love the color scheme it's awesome uh of course this is NeoFetch, so it tells you exactly what you're doing. I, I love this little thing you put at the top. I use Arch, by the way. That's kind of cool. That's, once again, a little attention to detail. 
So that is a look at the XFCE terminal and the way that it was rice. Of course, you got meld there, and then of course the R, the Zero Linux hello. And that is pretty much so a look at the XFCE Zero Linux edition. Uh, once again, it's just your regular XFCE customized and themed heavily. Not customized, but themed very heavily. Or rice, however you want to call it. And it is done exceptionally well. All the finite attention to detail are great. From the grub menu all the way to the terminal. Things have uh, uh, the fonts, the theme has been followed through, through and through. The icon packages are nice. Uh, the folders uh, were are, are nice. Uh, I, I don't know what to say. I mean, other than it's not your everyday XFCE. They've taken XFCE and not made it boring. They made it actually look really, really cool. And so, guys, tell me what you think. If you've already downloaded it and started using it, uh, tell me what you think, what you thought about it, and how it runs for you. Also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you could find me here and drop, you know, comment down below, or you can go to the Discord, my Discord, and you can actually ask in there. And also, Zero Linux has a magazine in there, so you can actually talk to him in there as well, or you can go to his Discord as well. Uh, thanks to Kadu, Teddy Bear Killer, and I don't remember exactly everybody else, but thanks to all those guys that are, that are on the Zero Linux team that helped to make this come come to fruition. They did a lot of hard work on this. Uh, I hope you guys appreciate it as much as they're hoping you appreciate it because they took a lot of time and painstaking effort to make this distribution possible. So make sure that if you guys pop in to any of our Discord servers that you guys thank, you thank those guys and anybody that worked on it. Let them know that you saw it here and that you're thinking of them. So, guys, do what you guys do. Keep on Linuxing. Stay safe. Have a great day. And see you in the next one.